This is an electric car, the modern vehicle that promised to save the environment from fossil fuel and gasoline. Except that it turns out it's worse. These cars are simple. Instead of using an engine that runs on fossil fuel, it has an electric motor powered by a battery. But it turns out that this very battery that it promised to end our reliance on fuel is so much worse than the very fuel it's trying to replace to the point where you'd have to drive it over 25,000 miles before it even starts helping the environment. And that's because of one very unfortunate problem. The production of each electric vehicle releases around 150% more CO2 into the atmosphere than it would take to produce a regular car, where most of these emissions come from a single component, the battery. Creating the battery for one single electric vehicle takes over 10 tons of CO2 to be released into the world, and that's just the battery itself, because in the end, 16 tons of CO2 are needed in total to create one electric car. But you can apparently drive enough to technically be saving the environment, right? Well, not really, because a big number of Teslas don't even make it to the point of reaching 25 thousand miles because about 30,000 Teslas per year need a battery replacement and it only gets worse for electric vehicles because their batteries are made of two very interesting materials, lithium and cobalt, and the mines for these minerals are terrible for our planet. Deforestation, toxic dumping, and droughts are destroying the Congo and Chile alike, with thousands of acres of forest being destroyed to make way for cobalt mines and cobalt and lithium seeping into the soil which contaminates the water for the surrounding areas, all of which don't compare to the horrors that the workers themselves face. Face. Conditions remain hazardous in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Corruption and violence are rampant. Workers here face dangerous People conditions under unsafe, cities. sometimes Working deadly conditions. These workers are constantly surrounded by death and abuse, with thousands of workers dying each year from mining cobalt and lithium for these electric vehicles. But the abuse doesn't stop there, as the average cobalt and lithium miner brings in about $41 worth of lithium and over $556 worth of cobalt per day. Yet for some reason, they only make $3 and $5 for lithium and cobalt miners respectively per day. And despite how little these workers get paid, the batteries they're making still find ways to harm our environment even when they're dead, as the disposal of dead electric vehicles vehicle batteries have started fires in landfills, and as they decompose and rust, they leak more chemicals into the soil, contaminating more and more parts of our world.